the highest you can go is 255 and if you turn that on you will go super fast i won't sprint because i'm just gonna lose my way me mtc plays aka morgan cyborg go 7 back with another video now today i'm going to show you how to use the slash effect command to give players potion effects that are super overpowered now today i'm going to split this video into three parts the first part i'm going to show you how to give a player a super potion effect in part two i'm going to show you how to give a player a potion effect if they touch a certain block and in part three i'm going to show you how to give a player a potion effect if they go into a certain area or radius so make sure to watch the whole video and anyways let's just dive right in let's do this Okay guys, so the first thing you need to get to do this is a command block. So go into your chat and type in slash give app p command, oops, command block. Once you have one, place it down. Now you need to get a lever. Place that while you're crouching so it doesn't so you don't have to interact with it. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to give a player a super OP potion effect. So interact with the command block and type in slash effect at P. This will direct to the nearest player as you can see here. But you can change that to yourself, which doesn't really work. A random player or all players or a entity which means animals or drops or even you now all you have to do is pick your certain potion effect I will leave a link in the description which will direct you to a website which has a list of all the potion effects there is in Minecraft hopefully that will help with your choice so I'm gonna use speed after you've wrote the potion effect, you need to write in how long you want to have that potion effect for. So I believe the max number is six nines. So that will be nine, 999,999 seconds, which is pretty crazy. Now after this, you have to think about how powerful you want this potion effect to be. So the lowest is one which is really really low if i turn this on it's really not that fast you just go a bit faster than usual but it's not that fast the highest you can go is 255 and if you turn that on you will go super fast i won't sprint because i'm just gonna lose my way so i can just just jump this is my base already and it's just like one second i'm already here it's almost as fast as teleportation it is crazy. So let me try and find the, oh, there it is. I have to crouch. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you how to get rid of this effect. So place down a command block and put a lever on it. Oh crap, I can't, I can't run. Okay, wait, I need, to, I need to stay still. Okay, now type slash effect at P clear. Oh god, oh my god, it's so fast. Now when I press this, my effects, all my effects will be gone. Now this command is quite amazing. Now let me get another effect, a different effect, because I want to show you something different. So, slash, oops, slash, effect, at P, jump, boost, uh, 999999, uh, 10. Okay, let me turn this on. Now say if I wanted these two, but I only want to get rid of the jump boost and keep the speed. Well, if I turn these on, oh, if I turn these on and I have both right here, look at this. Wow, very, very cool. But I only want to get rid of the jump boost. I All I have to do is place a command block, place a lever, go interact with the command block and type in slash effect 
at P jump boost zero zero oh zero. So if I show you and I flick the lever, boom, my jump boost is gone, but my speed is still here. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you something really cool that I have found out. So if you have two command blocks here and put the lever on both of them and type in slash effect that's p health boost and then nine 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 and then 255 and then the next one have slash effect at at p regen Asian uh, Now go into game mode S survival. And have this on and have this on. You can have unlimited health. It is so crazy how much health you can have. And it's so amazing. And it's so like just crazy. It's really crazy. And it's so OP if you're going to fight someone. And you're just like, huh, I've got like 255 hearts. You're never going to kill me. Okay, guys. So we're now moving on to part two. Where I'm going to show you how to give a player a effect when they touch a certain block. So let's do this. Place a command block down and a lever. Now interact with it. Now make sure the block type is repeat. Now in the command block input, type in slash execute at p tilde 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 detect tilde tilde wait no one minus one because it's below you one tilde and then whatever block you like for whenever the player touches that block to give the effect on so i'm just going to use stone and then zero and then the effect command so effect not too many f's at p jump boost well you need to go in to see the whole thing jump boost uh three and power five now if i get a stone block and just place it wherever i like here just for example and i walk over it nothing happens but if you turn the lever on and walk over it now you get jump boost for three seconds which is the time i put in now if you just turn it off again it won't work so that's how you do the detect command with the effect command so i'm basically doing basically three com different commands in one video but anyway we'll move on to part three Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to give a player a super potion effect if they're in a certain radius or area. Now for this command you also need to have your coordinates on. All you have to do is go to settings, wait for it to load, <laughs> go to game and scroll down until you see show coordinates and turn that on. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt, but I was wondering if you're enjoying the video so far, because if you are, then make sure to scroll down and like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to look in the description as there will be a question for you to answer. Anyway, have a great day and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, now place a command block down. 
Now put it as repeat and always active. Now you have to type in test for at p and then after that you have to type in the coordinates that you want your area to be surrounding. Now say if I wanted to give a player an effect when they walk into this square, all I have to do is find the middle point which should be here, which I shouldn't have destroyed that, and find the coordinate of this place. Now make sure to note it down so you don't make a mistake, so it's minus 39 for minus 164. Okay, now you have to type it in, but first of all, you need these square brackets with no space between the at P and the square brackets, and now you have to type in X. Now your X is the thir minus 39, so after that you need to write X oops, equals minus 39. Now your Y is 4. And you just type y equals 4. And then your z is your minus 164. So z equals one minus 164. Now you need to find the radius that you want it to be. So the radius is from with the middle point to the edges and the height. So this is a 5 by 5. So I will type in the radius 5. So, comma, R equals 5. Now end the bracket. Okay, so whenever I walk into this square, it will detect me. So it says found more the cyborg 07, which is me. Now get another command block and place it one block away from the, the command block that we have already done. And get a comparator and make sure it's facing the new command block. Now type in the effect command. So I'm going to use speed. I'm going to last it for 3 seconds and powerful powerfulness of 5. So whenever I walk in the square, it gives me speed. And whenever I walk out, it takes away my speed. It's that simple. Obviously, it's that um, a few seconds from where I've been there. But if I change the time duration of 3 to 1 and then 5, whenever I walk in, I get the speed, and whenever I walk out, I don't get the speed. So walk in, walk out. Now, this is really, really cool, and it's really simple. And I hope this has been very helpful for you. If it has, make sure to like. And if you enjoy my content, then please subscribe. So this will be it for today, next command block tutorial I will probably do the slash fill command which is very cool for world edit. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.